Hello everybody, in this video we are going to set up new frame from scratch with Lua. This is the beginning of a new series which I am going to make about NeoVim and Lua. So in this video I will show you how to set up syntax highlighting with tree sitter in NeoVim. So you don't need any prior knowledge in Lua to follow along with this tutorial. I will teach you everything about Lua and NeoVim. So let's get started. First what you will have to do is create a init.lua file in your home slash dot config slash nvim folder. So I don't have the nvim folder in my dot config folder. So let's just do that mkdir home slash dot config slash nvim and let's cd into that cd home slash dot config slash nvim. If I ls here there is nothing so let's touch init.lua and now we have we also have to create a lua folder to source other files in our init.lua file so mkdir lua and cd lua and create our plugins folder so mkdir plugins cd plugins ls and nvim init.lua so this is the file where you will install all your plugins we will be using a package manager for neovim called packer.nvim so let's open up google chrome and search for packer.nvim and click on the first link here and scroll down and you will see quick start and you have to clone this in your computer and after you have done that open this file again and copy all of this then go to insert mode and paste it and let's remove everything inside this except the first one so x and everything is gone and now what we have to do is source this plugins folder in our init.lua so nvim init.lua and how you source a folder in your lua folder is with the require keyword so type require and type plugins and then close the string and brackets and then i'll save this file and quit it then again i'll go into nvim again and type packer install if that command ran fine then there is no problem otherwise you will have to check your packer installation and next step is to choose your color scheme so i'll use one called nord.nvim uh, it is uh, or n on github here github.com slash swansing slash nord.nvim so i'll copy this command use the nord color scheme and go back to our plugins folder cd lua slash plugins nvim init dot lua and paste this i'll save this and quit new vim then go back to it and packer install then in our init dot lua we are going to set the color scheme to nord so the way you do this in lua is vim.cmd this will run a vim command in a lua file so vim.cmd color scheme nord and close the string and the function then close it and go back now we have our nord color scheme so let's go to one of my projects and see if there is proper syntax highlighting. So I have a react native project. So I'll go to app.js yes, and go to my home screen and 
a lot of the text is white the way you can change this is using a plugin called tree sitter it will give better syntax highlighting to your files if you have the tree sitter parser installed so let's go back to our init.lua in our plugins folder cd lua slash plugins and then init.lua and then go to nvm tree sitter slash nvm tree sitter on github github.com slash nvm tree sitter slash nvm tree sitter and then what you have to do is copy this but you can see this is with vim plug so what you will have to do is paste it here but delete this and type in use then surround this string with brackets then what you will have to do is type in run equals t colon ts update t and s capital this will run any post install hooks so let's the uh, colon wq right hand quit and then go back to neovim and run packer sync okay now it has installed nvm tree sitter now let's quit it and read some documentation about the language parser in tree sitter and you can run this command to install any language parsers ts install but we will be setting it in our ensure installed in our tree sitter configuration so let's copy that and cd dot dot slash dot dot slash now nvm init dot lua and what we will do here is require tree setter config we are yet to make this folder but we will do it in our lua folder right now cd lua and mkdir tree setter dash config cd tree setter dash config and nvm init dot lua okay so it gave an error that there is no for uh, no init dot lua in the tree setter config folder but we are just making it so paste whatever you just copied and delete this ensure installed maintain maintained and enter all the languages you want to install parsers for so i'm going to delete this and make it a list this is how you make lists or tables in lua with curly brackets so i am going to type html javascript and lua okay then i'll just delete this comment and i don't want to ignore install javascript and i want to enable highlight but i also don't want to disable c and rust and what th uh, this additional vim regex highlighting equals false will do is that it will disable the vim re regex highlighting which it has by default and it will use only tree sitter highlighting so i'll leave that like that and colon wq cd dot dot slash dot dot and when we go into neovim now that time we will see that it will automatically download javascript html and lua so nvim init dot lua and below you can see that it is downloading javascript html and lua parsers and it has been installed three out of three now let's go to our file which we just saw and we'll just compare how it looked before and after now so 
I'll go to that folder and nvim app.js and go to home screen and as you can see the syntax highlighting has become a lot better I don't see any white text like before so if you want to disable tree sitter for now you can do it by ts buff toggle highlight and you can see now everything almost everything is white but if you run that again it will re-enable types uh, i mean tree sitter highlighting and you can see the difference it is way better now let's let's just go back to our neovim folder so yes and nvim init dot lua now let's talk about what this require function does so this function it is very simple it will just require any modules which are present in your lua folder so we have our plugins folder in our uh, lua folder so it will search for an init.lua file in it and it will automatically run that file so it is very simple and that's what it does so if we uh, see our folder tree we can see that in our lua folder we have plugins and tree setter config so what the require function does is that it will look for an init.lua file in the folder which you have specified in the function so here we have our init.lua file in our plugins folder and also in our tree setter config folder now let's have a look at the vim.cmd function which we have in our init.lua file to set our color scheme to nod so with this command we can run any vim commands in our lua files so you can use this command to run any commands which you can't run in lua files but you can run only in vim files or in the command mode I hope you understood everything that I showed you in this video and if you haven't already then please subscribe to my channel and like the video if you learned something new from this.